Listen, when I'm on Facebook, I often joke a lot. And I know I, I want to apologize to all the women, all the kids, and, and every, everybody that, 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 that didn't take my last rant that I went on on Facebook funny because to me it was just funny. It was all humorous. But I was a little mad. But at the same time, I also want to let y'all know, usually when I post something on Facebook, it's usually about my surroundings. It's usually about my city, the young youth that grow up in my city. It's usually about the state. It's usually about the, 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 the mind state of the black man and the black woman. So... I do a lot of the positive shit on Facebook, a lot of my protesting on Facebook because Instagram to me is like show and tell. So I might do the food, I might put quotes, or I just put pictures. So when you fuck niggas come on my post, it, it confuses me because you come on Instagram and comment about something I said and telling me about, I need to talk about the kids that get slain by the police and I need to talk about the people that's killing the police, ass nigga. Don't get on my post telling me what I motherfucker need to do. What you need to do is what I'm doing. Get out there in the city, in the hoods, nigga. Go talk to the young black man that's killing each other, nigga. In the meanwhile, while we trying to get the police in, in, in control, while we trying to get our youth in control, nigga. In the meanwhile, don't you do your pussy ass need to go get you a job, fuck, nigga. Take care of your kids, spend some time with your sons, bitch ass, nigga. Don't comment on my post, nigga. Stay out of bad areas, man. Stay out of bad areas, cause hostile conversations usually. End up in violent confrontation that always be turned into a bad situation. Now, you don't want no bad situation. My man's went from <laughs> civil rights activist to terrorist to Jesse Jackson. See how he was kind of rapping at the end? He was like, hostile confrontations turn to bad situations. <laughs> I thought he was about to start talking about the Rainbow Coalition, but that's none of my business. You know, what he's talking about in these videos is basically what I'm going through in my comment section. Now, I'm not a celebrity. However, I am somebody with a piece of a platform, a little bit of a following and viewership. So therefore, people try to tell me the same thing. And it's funny because they were telling Tammy Roman the same thing recently too when she was doing the whole satin bonnet thing. You know the bonnet chronicles or whatever it's called like she tells jokes or funny stories to get some insight about you know different things and people were like well what you need to be talking about is this so what you need to be talking about is that and you know she had to make a video talking about that and then i see trick daddy he's talking about it you know and I, i've seen some other celebrities as well who have basically left comments to people in the comment section letting them know like look since you're so worried about what i'm doing why don't you go out and do some more yourself instead of fucking with me and like that's a major issue you got a lot of lazy people who are like well you're so and so so why don't you do this that and the third and you know i thought about it and i just made a video about how little bow wow was talking about how he's mixed for example and i said man bow wow could really help out with the different things that are going on right now in the political climate you know the racial tension just all sorts of things that it would be really nice if he spoke up about these different things. The hands up, don't shoot thing, the whole Black Lives Matter movement, all of that stuff. I would love to know his opinion on those things. And I realized something. If he's not passionate about it, he doesn't give a crap about it. He doesn't have to speak about it. He doesn't have to talk about that. Because if that's just not what's within him, nobody should force him to speak about those things. And the thing about it is that if you have even a little bit of a platform, it doesn't even matter if you have a hundred people on your YouTube or your Twitter or whatever or you have a thousand or you have a hundred thousand or a million people will come there and let you know like look you need to speak to the people and say this that and the third and it's like well why don't you do it your damn self instead of trying to forcing everybody to think the way that you think and to say the things that you want to say you go out and do it imagine if all of us went and said things or did things did you imagine how much we would get accomplished as opposed to asking a few people to speak as opposed to asking a few people to donate you know you got people starting gofundmes and they're like man if michael jordan would just take some of his millions or man if oprah winfrey would take some of them billions that she got not even a whole billion if she would just take i don't know five or ten million we could fund this thing overnight look bum stop trying to get celebrities to do your work if everybody donates a dollar and there's a million people, that's like nothing out of almost anybody's pocket. I mean, if a dollar makes a big difference in your life, well, you you really need a plan bad. You see what I'm saying? That's why you shouldn't ask a celebrity for a million dollars when all of us can just give a dollar. 
It's really that simple. Like, that's how you get things done. Everybody do their best. People put so much pressure on these damn celebrities. They wonder why they flip out. They go crazy. They make videos threatening women and spitting on their cell phones. You wonder why people do shit like that. Because some of you people don't know how to act. You have no respect. You have no class. And you lack etiquette. So this is how celebrities end up losing their minds. And I think it's funny, though, that he said that he got a little bit mad or whatever. Like, no, dude, that that was definitely an understatement. And... Another thing that Trick Daddy said that made me say, hmm, wrote a bag of pie, is when he said <laughs> positive shit on Facebook. Like, yeah, I usually post positive shit up over there on Facebook, but I, you know, I show off on Instagram. That's some old Jekyll and Hyde shit. Like, you know, I, I pray here, but I sit in there. You know, <laughs> he's like, this is me when I'm in church. This is me when I'm in the club, you know. But yeah, Trick Daddy is off the chain. But like he said, though, People need to be more proactive, basically, instead of (laughs) trying to put all of the weight of the world on his shoulders. He's one man, guys. He's one freaking man. Cut him some slack. Plus, he's trick daddy dollars. He loves the kids. And if you didn't know that, I guess you just don't know Nan. You better respect him, boy. But anyways, (laughs) y'all keep messing with Trick. You're going to point to that camera and say, "Uh uh-huh, okay, what's up? Shut up. And you can't even be mad at him because y'all keep messing with him. I know they say the tricks are for kids, but Trick Daddy's not here to play any games. You better look in the book of thugs. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? Shout out to Trick Daddy. I can't wait for Love and Hip Hop Miami season one to ear so we can see what's going on in his life. You know, get the full story behind a lot of these different things that are going on on the Internet and whatnot. It's going to be real great to see these different things play out on TV. Hopefully, Sharice Lattimore, the woman he was yelling at up on Facebook that was yelling at him. Hopefully, she'll be on the show. I would love to see them speak in person and then make amends with each other. That'd be really awesome. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm just a blogger, an asshole with a microphone, and blogger by default. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine.